Hello and welcome back to GTA 5 for another episode of Manhunt. This time we've got Buck playing the um, playing the, the prey and he's messing around in the hills at the moment. Um, well, and messing around with signs as well. A little bit outside the area we normally play in, but um, yeah, he's heading back down in towards the city now, so I think we can forgive him for that. Uh, he's got himself a bullet to start off with. That's quite a, that's a pretty good car, runs uh, nice and quickly. Let's see how he gets on with it. So, for anyone who's new to this channel and hasn't seen one of these videos before, the basic idea is we've got one guy, here we have Buck, running around the city trying to stay away from everyone else and trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Everyone else is, is uh, playing as a hunter of one form or another and they're trying to hunt him down and kill him. Now as you can probably tell there's no names over players and no map showing so that makes it a little bit harder for him to know where we are and for the uh, hunters to find him as well. But in order to give them a fighting chance we've got one extra player who's playing as a controller and they have a full screen map up and running and to, uh, which allows them to tell where the, uh, where, the, where the prey is at all times and where all the hunters are so they can then use voice comms to direct the hunters to try and find the prey. We've um, decided to make, because there's quite a lot of hunters in this particular run, we've decided to get rid of the, um, we decided to get rid of the idea of shooting from inside cars, and you're only allowed to shoot if you get out of the car. So that makes it a bit easier, but it, and it also hopefully will make it a bit more exciting because it's going to be up to the hunters to try and ram the prey's car off the road and slow them down as much as possible through sort of, through the application of um, high speed cars rather than, <laughs> rather than through bullets. <clears throat> Uh, jumps are always fun. Where does this one go? <laughs> Into a tree. Excellent. It says failed, but it's dropped him out quite neatly. He's not. He's not too badly trapped. He's been changing, going back and forth in the same sort of area quite a lot, and which isn't my favourite tactic. But we'll see how that how how that works out for him in the long run. Um, I generally tend tend to just try and go fast and and cover as much ground as possible. But I guess sort of sneaking around in off road areas like this. Yeah, it could work a bit. Let's see how this works out for him. Sitting... Okay, I have no idea what he's doing, why he's just jumping in and out of the car. He's, maybe he's trying to lose the uh, police, because the, the wanted levels... He, he's got a simian vehicle, which means this, this uh, car has been requested by one of the NPCs to be stolen and then delivered, but that means when you nick it, you get an immediate wanted level. That has now gone, though, because he hid quite well. So, oh, but here comes one of the hunters. <laughs> That's the problem with hiding. The hunters always know where you are, and the police are getting involved as well. Oh, yeah, this could be a bad, um, a bad start from. Oh, and another hunter. <laughs> oh, and another one. Yeah, there's. Okay, so it looks like we've got at least four hunters in this particular run, and they're all, um, all here and getting a bit involved at the moment. But he's in a pretty good car, so he's got a chance of, um, of getting away from them. Although that said, the hunters are all in quite fast cars as well, so we'll have to see. It's uh, going to be down to how well he can drive and dodge and how long it takes people to make mistakes. Uh, like that. <laughs> that was definitely a mistake. Uh, it's a spectacular aerial, uh, aerial attack. But he's got away from it, so uh, let's see. Let's see how far he can flee before they catch up with him again. And it, a, lot, a lot of it comes down to um, how well you can drive in, 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 a, in a reasonably straight line and, 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 and grab some corners here and there without, having, without making mistakes. Yep, the yellow car is still behind him. And I think there's a black one as well. So it largely comes down to how long you can keep driving for before you make one of those inevitable mistakes. And even the best drivers can't keep going for a full, I don't know how long one's last for. I like that yellow car, was doing pretty well, but it hits another car and that's thrown it off for now. But uh, that said, oh no, the yellow car is caught up again. But Buck seems to be doing pretty well. There's been a number of times when he's slowed down quite a lot, but um, he hasn't had any sort of really unfortunate crashes that would just that just bring the hunters in and allow them to um, get in a kill shot. And that was fairly messy, but he got he got through it without without slowing down very much. So yeah, I'll give him that. That, on the other hand, is going to let the hunters catch up quite a bit. So let's see if let's see if they can manage to. Um, Make to make most of it. No, I didn't have. He's lost the. Oh, the no, the yellow one is still there. The black car is still behind him as well. But yeah, he's definitely going for the covering as much distance as possible um, route, which I have to admit that does make sense. He's got a fast car. Um, granted, the hunters are fairly critical. Ooh, that's not going to go well for him. Well, I don't know actually. Maybe 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 it is. Maybe getting away again. I think that was fairly lucky. 
Uh, so yeah, he's got quite a fast car, so he's got a decent chance of, if, if, when going in a straight line, he's got a reasonable chance of um, at least putting some distance on against the hunters. The, question, the thing is though, if they're just as fast and just as lucky with not, not crashing, then uh, he's going to struggle to get away. Sometimes the best techniques are sort of, if you, if you can manage to take a corner at just the right moment, so it's too late for the hunters to work out what you're doing, so they overshoot, but you've gone in without losing too much speed in the corner, then that can, that can get you a lot of extra um, distance on them. And I think he might have managed that now. We've got to come around here. Yeah, they've, they're definitely falling back. And the best way, of course, is to get round a corner and then do something unexpected that the controller struggles to describe. Because then the, the, the hunters just don't know where to go. They lose you for, um, for a moment or two. And that can be enough time for you to get halfway across the city if you've got fast. Like that there, I can't see any of the hunters behind them anymore. So it looks like he's shaking them off. Now, of course, you're never going to be able to shake them off for, for long because the controller will guide them back onto you. And that's why, in this game mode, we, the idea is the, 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 the best tactics tend to be just going as fast as you can and covering distance and rather than trying to sneak around and hide because there's always somebody who knows exactly where you are. So, yeah, it looks pretty quiet behind there. Was that? No, I think that was just an AI car sticking its nose out there. Car park and yeah, there's yeah now nobody behind him. That was a that was a very good escape. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out in the next part of the episode um, how the how the hunters uh, managed to lose him there. But for now, I think this is uh, showing that he's he's done yeah doing what doing very well so far. There's also the tendency for the hunters to all get bunched up together, which uh, because they're all following the prey, they tend to end up being on the same route as the prey was following, but a little bit further behind, depending on how, how close they've got, how well they're doing. And if they're all fairly close together, they can sometimes end up tangling with each other. So you, you, you run into problems where one hunter will hit another, cause a bit of a, <laughs> cause a smash and a pile up, and all the other hunters just can't get past quite as quickly as they want to. And that, that may well be what's happened and why he's managed to get away for now. However, it never, it never lasts, because you're going around, eventually the hunters will manage to find a shortcut, or you'll have a big crash like that one and it'll catch up a bit. Or you'll, um, or the, if, if the uh, controller's really doing his job well, then he'll manage to guide the, the hunters around in a, in, in, a, in a loop to get ahead of you and, and cut you off. It's, oh, that was one of the hunters. And the second one, that was a, that was a really lucky turnaround. <laughs> the, the, he was, the fact that neither of the hunters managed to get a sort of a head-on collision with him as he went past them was incredibly lucky. Maybe they didn't even notice him, I'm not sure. We'll have to find out, because it's, sometimes when a car is flying towards you, especially if it's not going that quickly and it looks reasonably appropriate for the area you're in, you don't always necessarily realise it's the prey. That said, because they were tussling with this one earlier, it's already quite battered, and, um, and they know to be on the lookout for a sort of a light blue, um, was it Ferrari of some sort, I think? I, don't, I can't remember what it's called in the game. So it gives, it gives them a bit, of a, a bit of an idea of what to watch out for, so it makes it slightly easier for them to spot him. If he was able to switch cars at some point, that would, that would help, because then when they next catch up, they won't know exactly what they're looking for. But it's always very, very difficult to switch cars. You never know quite whether it's safe or not, because you don't know if you're going to step out of your car and immediately a hunter will come flying around the corner and run you over. And taking cars, uh, taking cars, stealing cars takes a surprisingly long amount of time as well because you you have to get out, get into the, get into the new car. Ooh, that police car rolled nicely there. I wonder if that was assisted by a hunter. Yeah, because there's a, a number of steps in, uh, in in switching cars, so it can take a little while. Yes, I think one of the black hunter cars is back on his tail again. We did find in this particular session that the uh, the police seem to be very. There were a lot more police cars and a lot more police um, incidents, should we say, than we're used to. Normally, when the, when the chases are afoot, we just you don't tend to see the cops very much at all. Um, but maybe it's because we've got more hunters than normal. Maybe that means there's there's more cops around because you you get a certain number per player or something like that, or because there's more players with more wanted levels, so it's attracting more of them. I don't know, but it did seem to be that we spent a lot more time trying to trying to avoid cops in this this particular session than we normally do. 
as you can see, he's still got the two star wanted level as well. <laughs> uh, so he's running down to the, sort of the, um, the beach area, uh, the, the beach canals area, just between the two. So the beach is off to the right from here and the canal's off to the left. This is a bit of a dead end down here though, so it's not the not the ideal place to be heading heading towards when you're trying to get away from people. Oh, this is even worse. There's a, this is a complete dead end. The, uh, the car park is, sticks out into, into the water and there is nowhere to go from here. How, how close are the hunters, do you think? Oh, there's one of them. Oh, that was a, <laughs> a an unlucky takedown or a lucky miss, um, depending on whose point of view you look at. <laughs> so, we can come around here, we can get onto the onto the beach down this way. And yeah, the beach is is one way to flee. I mean it's again it's a sort of a long straight line, but this end of it in particular has a lot of um, obstacles though, so um yeah, this, uh, sports cars don't take very favourably to trying to go over um over curbs like that I think. There's not much ooh, there's not much left of the front end of that car. But he's still on the move. The, um, the hunters haven't managed to pin him down and stop him moving for long enough to get a few shots off. Uh, oh, there's another one. That's two of the flips, flips his car. That's going to slow him down a bit. I think oh, he's recovered again. Ah, oh, some shooting now. This is probably going to end badly. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what that looked like from the hunter's point of view. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pratt Plays Manhunt. This is the Hunter View. Okay, guys, let's go. Out of the car park, turn right, then turn left. This is your Pratt speaking. I, I, I am the Pratt, aka the Four. And this time it's left, and then left again, please. Oh. Mmm. Kinky. I know. Doing something a little bit spicy, a little bit zesty. A little bit unusual. A little bit, ooh, a little bit, hey. Exactly. I wish I'd caught that moment on. And then. <laughs> sorry, follow it round to the right. And then, could I encourage you all to slow down for a moment? Because he's going to come from one of two directions, and I want to give you directions at that intersection. Okay, keep going forwards. Yep, straight ahead, and then take the next left. And then all take the next left. Who? And then the next left, left, left at the end. I'm driving really badly today. No comment. Yeah. Lawrence, <laughs> Worse than normal. Lawrence, that, that left back there. Okay, everybody else, stop. He's on your right in the buildings. Uh, as in, like, in that, in that, there's a road sort of looping around it. He is to your half right. Lawrence, turn right. And oh, then turn left. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I'm guessing he's changing car. Okay, he's coming out top. So, um, purple. He's right in front of you now. Lawrence, keep following it around to the left. So, pink and green. He's on the main road. Lawrence heading towards him. So, pink and green. Can you head the left? That's the direction that you're facing. Ah, oh, bastard cops. Uh, you should, you'll see him. You'll see him coming. Yeah, so he's straight towards you. Yep. Is it the... Yeah, he's in a light, light. Yeah. It's not a, it's light not a but yeah, the, the light blue Ferrari. Light blue Ferrari. Are you okay there, purple? No, no, no. Excellent. I'll guide purple onto target. If you guys keep pace. Luckily, I didn't spawn far away from my car, so I'm just gonna jump back in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aerial attack. Uh, he's left turned around. Uh, I've lost him because my camera. I was having camera problems. Straight Which forwards there. Uh, left, then immediately right. Purple. Lawrence, turn left. Actually, left there. Purple at the end. And then next right. Purple. Oh, I saw him. Yep. Turn right again. Yep, I see the chase. Okay, purple, you're. It's just a catch-up game for you now. He's crashed. Shouldn't take long. I'm in a nine F. Uh, that was a right there, Lawrence. Sorry. Yeah, I I realised. Okay. Uh, turn left, purple at the end. 
Yep, there. And then immediately, not immediately, even next right. Yep. The Lawrence turn right at the end. Right. And then the two of you are on top of each other. Sorry. Quite, quite literally, it turns out. <laughs> the left Lawrence there, and oh, left purple there. I'll try not to get in your way. And then take the next left. And then up to the next intersection, and he's coming from your left. So stop at the intersection. If you can form barricade, please do so. Oh, I didn't form barricade. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just missed nudging him at the end there. That is unfortunate. He's turned, he's turned left at the end of the road. Good work, good work. Can you box him in? Oh, tried, failed, I hit a tree. Lawrence Hardware 80, what, what colour yeah. card are you in? Light blue. Light blue, still light blue, okay. Yeah. I think we've been close, well, some of us have been close yeah. enough behind him. Well, let's take the next left. Well, I'm going to try and cut him off here. Yep, yeah, this is good. He has turned left, so keep going straight, Lawrence. And keep going straight, purple. And then turn right, purple, turn left, Lawrence. Yep, I saw a yellow cargo flashing past. <laughs> and left, purple. Oh, what? Oh. God damn it. Hit the same car. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. A lamp. A He's going lamp straight boost. forwards. He's going straight, straight, straight. Then left at the end. Left purple. Ah, uh, no sorry. Way. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yep. Uh, that way straight is fine. Uh, turn pink, turn left. Uh, green, turn left. White, go straight. Purple, take the left. Next left. Pink, pink, mm -hmm. turn. Uh, green and pink, hard one eighty. Lawrence, turn left. I th think purple is now. Oh no, white's closest. Then purple. Um, all keep heading the direction you're currently heading. Lawrence, at the end, turn right. Purple, keep going straight. Pink and green, keep going straight for a bit longer. White and purple, take the next right. Is there a blue and a right? Or is am I green now? Oh, so uh, uh, sorry, you, you do look green on my screen now. Uh, my bad. No worries. Sorry. <laughs> That's awkward. Someone's uh, like uh, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah, that was um, that was pink. Uh, pink turn right at the end. Green. Am turn I still right going the remotely end. the right way? Nope. But keep going. It's fine. No, turn left. Uh, other way. <laughs> sorry, Lawrence. Other way. Sorry, I neglected you. Sorry. I'm on someone's ass. So, uh, purple, you are behind yellow right now. So, purple, you're just behind target. Pink and green, you are approaching purple now. Keep going straight, Lawrence. Okay, he's gone up into the hills. So, Lawrence, turn next right. Ooh, interesting. And then left, Lawrence. Everybody else, keep going straight. You're all, everybody else on the same road. And keep going straight, Lawrence. Okay. And then take the next right. Okay. Oh, I fished it all. And keep going, and then follow it round to the left. And then it's going to sort of curve round quite sharply to the right. Keep following it round to the right. Oh, no, no, sorry, big pardon. Uh, turn left, next left. Uh, uh, sorry, second left. There's a small one just there. This, this one here? Yeah, that's correct. Pretty sure I've asked the Hard 180. <laughs> Just to confirm. So pink, 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 pink and green, so hard 180. Um, purple, you are still following yellow, which is good. Was that? Oh. Okay. Shall no, I carry on? Yeah, yeah, keep going. It's probably, okay. probably best to keep going. I thought the purple, 180 was to me. <laughs> right, so big pardon, no. So Lawrence, at the end of the road, turn left. Everybody else, keep heading south back into the city. Purple, you are catching up on him. He has gone left there ahead of you. Uh, uh, He's one intersection ahead. Yeah, I had a bad spin there. Uh, okay. Pink, green, and white, are you okay up there? I'm. I was changing car. Ah, no race, no race. Yeah, I'm also changing car because I've beaten that one up too much. Although they're all, they're all, they're all dodging. For sake. <laughs> It's like they don't want to have the car stolen. You've caught up with him, purple. That's that's him, purple. 
give him a good ramming. I'm following okay, someone. Pink. Yep, pink, pink and green. Keep going straight down that road. We'll bring you back into the action quite quickly, actually, down there. And Lawrence is still having fun finding cars. I don't know, you put him in the middle of a road and he can't find a car. I know, it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm heading back down into the city. Yep. Uh, okay, so pink and green, take the next left. Hello. And pink and green, that's yellow right in front of you. I saw someone go, two people go past, fast on the other side. The first one was, was, was the target. Oh. <laughs> so I keep describing it as yellow. I mean, that's, that's the prey, that's Buck. Um, Lawrence, turn right. Uh, pink, turn right. Ah, Green, AI. turn left. He is currently in Vespusian Canals, or whatever it's called. Oh, okay. Vespucci okay. Canals. There we are. He's just gone through. He's gone dead end. He's gone to where I was trolling Paul the other day. Uh, oh, down the right, end of the beach. Lawrence, turn left. Yes. Uh, Green, at the end of the road, turn left. White and green, you will intersect each other at the next intersection. Or near enough. Uh, oh yeah, I saw a car fly pink, past. Pink, the... Actually no, keep going pink, keep going. Oh, you... Okay, green. Uh, keep... Yeah, keep going actually. Uh, green and white, take the next right. I'm going to take this one because there's cop cars ahead. <laughs> uh, pink, can you turn right? And then left, okay. Or is he on the beach? Uh, straight forwards. Yes, he's on, he's on the beach, he's going down the, the, the front. Okay. Oh, Do we know he's how he's in? He's, well, he's, uh, Lawrence, turn left. Green, turn... Actually, Lawrence, go back the way you came. Green, can you turn right there? Lawrence is about to pass behind you. Oh, oh I just... Okay, Green, he's approaching you now from the right. Yes! Perfect. Nice. Lawrence, straight forwards. And if you can sort of curve right, uh, left a bit. That'll yes. Work. Oh. Gigi. Oh, well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed watching the Hunter's View of Pratt plays. I've been your Pratt for today. Whew. We'll catch up with you next time.